Tom Everhart is the singular protege of Charles Schulz. They had a relationship for decades. Schulz found Tom, who was a real classically trained painter, to work with him in the studio, and Tom discovered that he adored the line of Charles Schulz. The first time that they did a project together, he blew a strip up about 20 feet high in the studio, and he saw that the line was a very painterly line. And so it was very exciting to Tom, and this is why he spent a lifetime creating a body of work based on the line of Charles Schulz. I'm really excited to see how he's creating new textures with paint that is made from glue, varnish, and tint that is overlaid on top of the original black and white painting. And he's always painted like that, but this is the first time that we're able to see the black and white layer under the translucent paint. You see the motion, the life, you see the, the dance in it. And Tom's interpretation of, I've got ants in my pants and I've got a dance, is all about what drives us, what motivates us to really create. This group has some elements from every other body of work, but then some new things. Just keep you on your toes. <laughs> Tom's fantastic. You can tell his love for the Peanuts, his love for Charles Schultz, just emanates from his work and just fantastic. So Tom, what is this show about? What is this exhibition all about? If I had to summarize it, I would say it's about examples of things that cause involuntary creative thinking. That's well that's said. A, yeah, that's it's exactly. really such a pleasure to have you here with this body of work. I think it's the best ever. Oh, and it's been so almost sweet. 20 years, Tom. Yeah, I know. Almost. Very <laughs> close. I try to make the work new every time. Uh, so if I don't, it doesn't feel like it's growing. And if it doesn't feel like it's growing, it doesn't, it's not alive. And it's very important to me that the work has a certain bit of being alive about it. Everything in this show is about the things that puts ants into your pants to the point that you have to dance or make something. So it's like forcible creative thinking. And any creative thinking is good, whether it's involuntary or forcible. We met during a project that I took on here in New York for a design company. And we flew to his office, his studio in Santa Rosa, California. And that's where we met, and that's where we hit it off. And it really started right there in the whole thing. <laughs>